So Catalina is the character that originally made me sort of come up with this idea of like Ladiva wins by doing absolutely nothing. Contesting Catalina in neutral is a fool's errand for like what the hell is Ladiva supposed to do against Catalina? Tell me, answer fast right now. You can't because there's nothing I can do. I'm already liking that a lot more. I'm already liking it a lot more, man. The strategy works, right? That's how you play against Catalina. That's how you play against normal zoners, man. It seems weird. Shouldn't the grappler be aggressive and in your face all the time? No, no. Neutral in this game is so lopsided, man. But Eva just can't, she can't run it like that. All right, folks, and we are back with more Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising action for you here on the road to number one. And oh boy, it's been a while. So Catalina is the character that originally made me sort of come up with this idea of like Ladiva wins by doing absolutely nothing, aka just down back and hope for the best, and then let let these characters win neutral because contesting them in neutral is a fool's errand, right? And you just gotta you just gotta find your spots to find a gap in their offense instead, right, and go from there because the the characters with the with the super insane neutral tend to not have quite as insane offense, right? So, uh, but uh, but since I since coming up with that strategy, I've actually not run into a Catalina, right? So it's gonna be a really nice test for me of this of this strategy. And it's honestly so far, I'm, I'm I'm already liking this. This already feels much more doable than trying to actually fight this character in neutral, right? Like I'm 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 already liking that a lot more. I'm already liking it a lot more, man. I tell you what, I think I, I think like obviously this is, we're, we're very early on here, but I'm already liking this significantly more. In fact, this could be real easy to punish. Indeed, it is. Bonk. You see what I mean? Like, man, hold on. Now, as Sam Burger realizes what I'm doing, they might start playing a little bit more patiently, right? But contesting Catalina in neutral is a fool's errand for, like, what the hell is Ladiva supposed to do against Catalina? Tell me, answer, fast, right now. You can't, because there's nothing I can do that's not, like, a massive gamble that will probably lead to the end. Even there, right? That, that maybe may probably that even after the Brave Counter, I should have been more patient. That, for example, that, though, there's a gap, right? We block an Enchanted Lands. We're not just smashing randomly so the Enchanted Lands doesn't catch us, and then we get we get a turn, right? There you go. Another turn. I, I should have done an Ultimate Clothesline probably there. Oh, okay. Hold on. That happened. Bonk, bonk. I should have done an ultimate clothesline there. Probably would have been a better conversion, but you know it works out. And here you go. Now we're now we're in, the, and we we have some pressure on them. This is actually where Ladiva can can excel a little bit, right? There you go. There you go. Like this is how you play the Catalina matchup. I, I like. I've actually never been I, at this point. I'm like I'm I, I'm back, I'm very happy. I feel like I'm quite like that. Do you have any idea how lost I felt fighting Catalina before I, I started doing this? Right? Like, the answer is, is very. Like, very, very, very lost. Right? Because, again, Catalina's neutral. Impeccable. Catalina's offense? It's, like, nothing. Like, it basically, it relies on you mashing a button or, like, getting jumpy in, in a certain aspect of the of the match. Right? Triple? Ooh, very patient. Very patient. Understandable. Oh, I could have I could hit a button there, actually. I just reacted a little too slow. Oh, nice. Yeah, like, right there, I also mashed. I got shimmied on. I mean, to be fair, I saw the shimmy and I wanted to 2-L them. I just reacted to it a little slow. Again, probably just safer to only only actually try and do something when I feel like I actually found the spot. Right? When I found a uh, an opening. Backdash there again. What, trying to bait me out, right? That's it's really it's all she's got are these attempts at baits. If I just yeah, if I just if I just wait for an actual opening like that raging strike, I could have definitely done a little bit of a better punish there, right? This is punishable. Oh, not punishable. Okay, but at least my turn. I thought I thought it would be because brands I believe is punishable. Maybe they spaced it out well enough that it was safe. Bonk, bonk. Oh, nice guess, nice guess. Oh, ooh, baby, that reach. Fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, like, again, this even like still even when things don't go right, that feels so much more comfortable. Right? Like, like again, fighting this character in neutral is an absolute nightmare. Like, I'm just gonna down back. Dude, please, please, yes. It's, it's your turn. Take your take your offense. I I, I actually, I implore you. Again, there, I, I'm reacting a little slow, but after that overhead, I'm pretty sure I can hit a far L and have it be my turn at the very least. Ooh, I got empty jump load. Fair enough, fair enough. Gotta gotta be a little bit better about that. What the hell is this? That's, I'll be honest, it looks pretty, pretty minus to me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's just, I guess, do uh, this. A little bit of damage, a little bit of corner carry, and now suddenly it's kind of our turn. Kind of. Maybe I should have done uh, the the light one just for some mid screen Oki. So I don't, I, I don't want to risk running up on Catalina too much. She does have some some decent defense on her. The game is definitely, you know, uh, she, uh, we're, we're giving her all she's got, Captain. It's chugging along a little bit, but you know, the, the basic idea is there. Far L, a little bit too far there, for far L. Oh god. Okay. And yeah, so the idea that I'm, I'm trying to do here is every now and then we spend the whole match being very passive, and then suddenly we just kind of do something crazy and jump at them, right? Ooh, 2M gonna get beat out there, unfortunately, and I get my legs caught. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we spend most of the match being very passive, and then every now and then we do something kind of crazy, right? Uh, it didn't quite work out there with the ultimate clothesline, but I think the idea is still sound at heart, right? Like, even when we lose, even when, like the first game obviously went great. This one didn't go as well, but even when we lose, this just feels so much more doable, man. Fight, like, fighting Catalina here in the corner, it, un, un, unironically, is so much less scary than fighting her in neutral. I would rather her have the corner. It, it, it like, limits the decision space a little bit, right? Yeah, it's like, it's so much easier to find a gap in that man than to try and, and walk back and forth and, like, fooze you this character. I, well, it, it just doesn't have the tools to do it. You guys get the idea, though. I, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I will be silent now about this whole, uh, whole thing. You, you get the general gist of things. I tried to jump up and command grab them. I was a little slow on the draw, though. Happens. Get away from it. 
I'm gonna bonk, and I'm gonna bonk, and I'm gonna bonk, and I'm gonna bonk, and I'm gonna, bonk, and I'm gonna grab. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna 6-6-L. Six, six, oh, yeah, yeah, I thought about it. You know, I thought they might do that, but I was like, eh, I'm just gonna do the pressure anyways. We're alive, right? But we are we are in some uh, some danger, as the kids say. As the kids say. Uh, well, we shouldn't be in chip distance either, right? The bird. What? Can I see my HP? Okay, there you go. I was like, this lady won't. This this this, this scary night lady will not let me see my HP. Oh, yeah. I keep, they're doing that six six M a lot. I gotta be looking out for my toes a bit more. Right, right. Catalina does have a nice little uh, toe grabbing option there with the six six L. Something that I, I must be aware of for sure. Okay, I blocked those. Enchanted lands well spaced there. Doesn't really give me opportunity. Yeah. It's, okay, so that is definitely not punishable. It seems. Right. Get grabbed, nerd. It's not punishable, right? But it, it is my turn if we block it, which is always that's that's nice in and of itself, right? Turns are a are a rare commodity in this match, in this matchup that is. But also, turns are a very valuable commodity. We only need like one or two versus Catalina potentially to really make her life miserable. Oh, it's, oh, I was gonna say, what is, I guess that I, I, as soon as I hit a button there, I was like, wait, I'm screwed because that's like all of those EX projectiles are plus. I believe Catalina's is, but I think they went for like a tick throw situation there. So me mashing on the plus frames actually worked out kind of well. For me. <laughs> oh, once again, I tried to jump. I mean, to be fair, that time I think I tried to jump, but it just like the uh, little bit of a uh, little bit of a uh, chugging there is why I probably didn't get that one off. Unfortunately, happens. Okay. Okay, I take those. They're really trying to bait a brave counter out of me. Oh, okay. Thoughts. Thoughts. Jump at me, please. <laughs> oh, that's supposed to be. Goddamn, it's supposed to be air-to-air -air command grab, not co regular command grab. I, just, I guess the up input didn't come out as soon as I thought it would. Okay. 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 Wonderful. I think they tried to throw me there. I think that was a throw that we caught them in the recovery of, right? They just were a little. We were. We were too far away. So the throw whiffed. That, that's what it looked like to me, anyways. Okay. Once again, we're playing. We're playing very safe. We're playing again. This feels like a matchup that I can actually win, man. Like when I when I play like this, suddenly it feels kind of doable. Like, not easy, by the way. This is still, I think, a good matchup for Catalina, but doable is the key word here, which was not the case pre prior. Yeah, also, on, on block there, light headbutt is minus, so me hitting a button there is very much... Oh, it's a guard crush! Oh, I forgot about that! I I've never seen that, right? I I I've only heard tell of that in training mode, basically. I completely forgot that if you if she if you let her charge that up all the way, it becomes a guard crush. Yep. Yeah, a little a little uh, ambitious there with the spot dodge. A little bit late, right? They didn't hit me. They didn't hit me with, like, such a, a quick move that that spot dodge is a good idea. But yeah, right, if you fully block, if you if, let her fully charge up the EX Enchanted Lands there, it becomes a goddamn guard crush into a combo. That's really funny stuff. Okay, well, well we only need one more opening on her to potentially kill here. We have a huge Brave Point advantage, too. If we really try to use it. Oh, okay. Well, now we have not so much of a health advantage anymore. Bonk. Ew, I, thought they would, I, th I really thought they would super or something there. No, no such luck, though. Okay. We're running out of HP to play with. So are they, to be fair. But we might get there first if we're unlucky. Oh, trying to get my legs. Yeah. Oh, nice spacing. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, that was. I, I thought Far M would at least connect there and give me some some block pressure, but no. Okay, yeah. So there's there's the first time that I've actually managed to test that uh, that new strategy. Again, Catalina was the inception of this whole thing where I down back and against certain characters whose neutral I think is too overwhelming for Lodiva. Uh, Catalina was the inception of this idea. Now that match was a little bit, uh, you know, it, it, it was it was my first chance to actually test out that theory. I'm gonna tell you, even though we lost that, that is a rousing success. That is like 30 out of 10 review on that strategy versus Catalina. That just felt so much more playable, so much more doable, so much more winnable. Uh, there were a couple of unfortunate moments in that match. I, I mean, it, it affected uh, Sam Berger as much as me, right? So I'm not going to say that it's why we lost. But it's in general, there were a couple of unfortunate moments there where, like, I really feel like I did hit a button, but maybe the bit of, uh, like, the, the, the stutter there ate it. So, like, a couple of air command grabs I tried to do there that didn't really work out, right? But that's fine. The loss does not matter. What matters... Ooh, Knight of Rex, hello. What matters, right, is that uh, we we actually... I love that strategy. That is like, never before have something, I've been so confident in something. Also, hello Knight of Rex on the Seahawks. This this is a character that we don't have to do that against, right? This is a character who uh, is not, whose neutral is not as scary as Catalina's, and whose offense is way scarier. So we actually would rather not end up in this position, for example. Oh, maybe. We'd rather not end up in this position in the corner. We'd rather fight him in neutral. Oh, what? I could have sworn I matched Far L there. I guess I missed the gap. So I, I'm looking at, uh, when, I, when Seox is doing his Rekka on me, I'm always looking at his feet, right? And if his feet leave the ground, they hit far L. Or I guess light. It usually comes out as close L, actually, most of the time. But I guess I just somehow missed the gap there. I didn't uh, I didn't mash properly. Yeah. Oh, I can't, okay, can't, can't spot dodge that one. That's a low and exclusive problem, unfortunately. Okay. 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 Bonk. Oh, not my turn, of course. It was a 6-6-0. Six, six, oh. How could I be so naive? Okay. I'm getting, I'm getting chipped to hell and back here. I tells you what. Yeah, I mean, we're just, we're just, we're just dying in the corner. Uh, this minus? Oh, yes, actually. The fact that he did parry after that makes me think that the answer has got to be yes, right? But, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, it took me a little bit to, too long to react. Actually, I, I guess I SPD him there. 
because then he has to like hard commit to both you know doing something to cover it and having that something be jump right that's a pretty pretty risky proposition for him Bonk. okay parry he, he sure is parrying that tells you what i will block this i tried to jump that and it was a bad idea i mean it's not a, it's not a horrible idea but you just gotta be a little bit quicker on the draw than i was there bonk 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 wonderful oh no no conversion potter bonk oh parry <laughs> understandable yeah. okay no 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 real risk mashing that light button there either right even if he doesn't do the the overhead kick like it'll it'll recover fast enough to to basically beat whatever he tried to bait us out with okay okay we got we got seox we got seox it happens it happens uh we're like super dead yeah into the skybound dart hmm yeah okay okay I, I think again we just have to we have to try and not let him push us to the corner that early on because this is like this this is almost the exact opposite of cattle you know this character's neutral is not that good but his offense is real spooky right so we have to we have to be a little bit better about not letting him just bully us into the corner yeah like this is a great uh, this is a great example we've made it out we did it i did it ma i'm out of the corner against seox are you proud of me he likes he likes doing the backboard a lot oh man i see uh maybe we could air command grab that that seems like not a horrible idea Oh, no conversion. I'm, I'm horrible at the video game. It happens. These things do, in fact, happen, unfortunately. Get bonked, nerd. Get grabbed, nerd. I think he did ultimate. Is that ultimate? Wait, back. Is that the little flippy, flippy dippy thing? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. Bonk. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's really easy to react to that, right? And you don't even have to, almost. You can just hit the button anyway. And most options are still going to be safe if you if you far out. You going to do it again? No, no, he will not. He, he will, in fact, not. I want to meet him in the air and then grab his ass. I, don't know, I think he's I think he's somewhat wary of this fact. This is a possibility. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. Oh my god, I can't believe we're alive. Hit, 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 hit. Okay, okay, okay. That, uh, that, that, unfortunately, by the way, that medium, uh, that 6XM was not what I meant to do. I meant to run up and then do far M, but I was still dashing. So, I mean, I mean, it worked though. It worked, you gotta admit. Okay, yeah, yeah. Jumping that is not a bad idea. We just have to be sort of on the ball ready for it, right? Parry's fine. Not worse things have happened. Okay. Yeah. Okay, oh, nice. Just barely got out of range of our, our jump base there. Solid stuff. Okay, once again, jumping that gives us at least a turn, right? Even if we can't punish it. Unless, we, unless we're really late, it's probably not his turn after we try to jump that. This should connect? No, it didn't. Oh, what the hell? You tried to do ultimate something, but not parry. Daddy, as the Valkyrie from uh, For Honor would say. Okay, I see you. I double see you. I triple see you. Okay, no, fair enough. You're gonna jump. He likes doing the tick throws a lot, huh? He does love him some tick throws. Oh, okay, so that one, yeah, so even, I was wondering, does that punish me mashing? And the answer seems to actually be no, which is, I mean, great news for me. Uh, you're, like, alive, I think. I don't think I can kill you here. I don't, did I have combo limit for one more normal? If I did, obviously, that would have been the schmoove there, right? Gonna parry? Yeah, 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 same thing he did before, right? He's gonna cover that with parry, that's what I figured, which is why I just waited it out and then far eld him. Solid stuff, solid, again, active game plan, right? Not just autopiloting, looking at what our opponent was doing, and then determining our actions based on that. Wait, our, our green square? No, not like this, man. I can't be. I, I, I was doing so well. But yeah, so even even that like big over. I think by the way, that that two hand attack out of the record that that uh, he hit me with there, I believe is actually punishable. So I think I should have been a little bit more aggressive after I blocked that, if I remember correctly. If I remember my my Seox numbers, as I think I do. You gonna record? That's right. Yeah. Oh. Huh? I guess I didn't. I, I got I gotta be hitting that button a little bit early. Interesting. Again, I, I I hit I hit uh, close L, but I suppose I was actually like at that time I was actually just mashing close L because it feels like it's safe, right? But that but I got counter it. Maybe again, maybe I, I need to time it a little bit better to actually get the uh, the hit that I'm looking for. I'm gonna grab him right away. Yep. Yeah, I figured he would parry. That's exactly why I did that. And now his parry's on cooldown, so now he ain't got no bitches. Okay. That's still safe for me. I'll protect that. Okay. Get away from me. Yeah. Oh baby, still safe. I'm still Dre, as it were. Okay, okay. Oh, Tex Tex throw actually works out for him that time. Oh, I tried to, okay, okay. I tried to jump and, and command grab that, but I just didn't hit the button in time. Like I had the thought, I was like, wait, is this, this is the dive kick thingy, right? But no, no I, just, I just, unfortunately the brain, the brain did not, uh, did not hit the, did not hit the neurons fast enough. <laughs> Wonderful, this is what I've been trying to do to him for a while now. He keeps meeting me in the air like that. And in theory, he really should not feel comfortable doing that. I've just been bad about the command grabs. Okay, nice, sweet. I miss him put my SPD as clothesline, but we still survive. Could be a lot worse. Okay, he does not, he's, not, he's not actually even teleporting to that projectile very much at all. Which, I mean, I guess it's good for me. Because I, I, I struggle to deal with that move once the Oxys do teleport to it. There you go. Once again, you can just mash. I feel like you can really just mash close hell on that and be completely fine. Okay, we'll recover in time there. No big problems for us. We'll tech we'll that throw. We'll jump over this. Oh, he jumped a little too late, though. He did get the chance to uh, to 2H us. Is that minus? Like, I, it's, it's minus. I, actually, is it, I, I was going to say, surely it's minus, but now that I think about it, surely it's not minus? Yeah, you hit a button right away there. That makes me think that it is plus. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, takes throw. Of course. I'm building meter this whole time, by the way. He better not be parrying. Nope. I think he, I don't think he was parrying, but whatever he was, he wasn't jumping. That's why I was just kind of content to just sit there and block. I was like, I'm at like 96% meter, and once I have SSBA, this, uh, this Seahawks offensive pressure sequence so far is not very SSBA safe, right? Outside of like EX uh, Gate of Demons there, basically, that, that does take him airborne. But I was like, I'm pretty sure once I get 100 meter, I can blow this guy up with, uh, nice. We do nothing there to bait the 2H, right? We, we jumped backwards a little bit and then did nothing to, uh, to make it so that if he did 2H, it would miss, and that's exactly what happened. I wasn't quite confident enough in the strategy to be super ready to, to actually uh, punish there, but at least, you know, the, the thought was sound. That was supposed to be an SPD, for sure. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I mean, this is the weirdest hit confirm in, in man's history, but like, it works, I guess. It's still fine. It's still fine. It's still fine. All of this is fine. You can parry me. I don't really care. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I don't really, like, at that point, like, I'm not, if you, if you hit me with a parry, who cares? Like, I'm, it's not like it's gonna, it's not really gonna hurt me. I'm still gonna be in a good position, and you will be down a defensive option. So I, I just went for it. And if you don't parry, right, you have to hold the mix. Uh, the mix. And if you hold the mix, there's a good chance you're gonna die. So, I was very comfortable just running up and then smacking that Seahawks on wake up there. Bonk, bonk, bonk. That felt really good. Yeah, again, Seahawks, believe it or not, I think is not like a horrible matchup for Lodiva. The one thing is after the nerfs, so uh, Seahawks, EX, get demons. Uh, I was going to switch to it, but you got, you, you'll, uh, you, you can check my, my patch notes, my testing out the patch notes video if you're very interested in like the details. But essentially, with uh, the increased recovery on Seahawks', uh, Seahawks EX fireball there, the, the one where he hops in the air and then shoots that little X, right? If you are if you basically hard call him out on, you can roll it and then punish him for it, unless you are uh, Lodiva. Lodiva has to spot dodge it because her roll has four extra frames of recovery, so she's plus, but he's safe, right? So in that sense, that's like a, a thing that uniquely is bad about the matchup for only Lodiva, but overall, I feel like he's not really that bad. Uh, again, because he's not Catalina here, where we, we can actually play neutral with Seahawks and not be so, too upset about it, right? Go for my toes. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I thought you would. I thought you would. Oh, that's not, that's not, that's not how that goes. Uh, oopsie, oopsie. I mean, it, it happens, it happens. But yeah, they do. They have been 6 xming a lot, which is why I jumped there. You can DP if you'd like. You can really DP if you'd like. You can jump if you'd like. I'll, I'll gladly take that. Bonk, bonk. The American reset. I, I, I did not. I was, I, you know what? I didn't think that I was going to hit combo limit there. But on the bright side, in my defense, I did actually really quickly react to the fact that it was combo limit and be like, oh god, it's a reset. Let's hit a button. Let's hit a meter here and go from there. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just looking out for my toes. Don't mind me. Oh, okay. Headbutt there. I, I, I tried to preemptively call out that, but no, no need, really. Again, no need to take unnecessary risks in the corner here versus Cat, I think. Nice. I, I, like, that was a bit of a guess. They were going to leave a gap in there, right? But with just how they were spaced, I was like, I think they're going to do it. Obviously, maybe in, in hindsight, we can say that, that was an un unnecessary risk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Speaking of unnecessary risks. Um, maybe we can say that was an unnecessary risk, right? But I, I just, I just like, had a feeling. I don't know. I, like, that's, sometimes, you're, that, that's like, I assume my subconscious telling me that, hey, based on how many games we play with this person, I get, like, I, I think they're going to do this. You just got to believe me. And sometimes you just got to let your subconscious rock, man. It, it, the, the supercomputer is processing things that I'm not. It's noticing things that I'm not. And when it gives me a feeling that strong, I'm just going to believe it sometimes. Bonk. Bonk. SBA. No. Spot dodge. Oh, God. What the? Oh, and there's, there's the buffs. Yeah, that, that, that launching on hit is actually, it's worse in the corner, but it's better mid-screen. Combo limit. Okay, jump. Oh, they jumped a little preemptive. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I'm sorry. So in that case, my brave counter got baited, right? I did get baited. I got baited. I thought they would land with an aerial. They didn't. But then I believe they tried to land and throw, and they were just out of range. So they got blown up for it. You know, sometimes your brave counter gets baited and you win every uh, anyway. It's it, it ain't, it ain't oh god, it ain't a crime to be lucky, unfortunately, for for some people's mental. Out. Okay, we're we're on, on the bright side for Monsieur Sandberger here. Uh, this this round is not going so well for us. Okay, probably could have grabbed that. That that the, the, I did have a lot of time to react to Catalina being in the air there. Bonk. Okay. 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 I mean, taking these this way is slowly giving Catalina the HP advantage. Right. Ooh. Oh, counter hit, but we couldn't get the the full conversion. It's fine. Happens. Okay. Convert that with a raging strike into this, into clothesline. Really good corner carry for us here. Oh, he tried to throw. Did not work out for them, but they did try it. Oh, I could have converted that into raging strike too. Oh, nice reaction. I should be dead. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Nice reaction. That raging strike was. I mean, I get, so the reason that raging strike, I could probably argue, even so obviously in hindsight they dodged it, so it was bad. But that's not how you evaluate things, right? That's results-oriented thinking. The reason it was bad in 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 a vacuum, right? Is because even if that hits, they had three brave points. So it's not like I was actually going to get like you know I'm not gonna win if that raging strike hits, but I was gonna lose if they dodged it, right? So the risk reward there is just not worth it. Also, this Catalina, I don't think knows that uh, the two headbutts is even on block, so I'm gonna I'm gonna exploit that. But Catalina has a five frame button, right? So I think in theory she should definitely be able to uh, to mash on me there and kill me. If, if I do two headbutts. But yeah, it seems like they're not aware of this. So, I mean, I, I suppose I will do my best to uh, exploit it. 
That should be minus. Yeah, should be my turn at the very least. Yeah, oh, counter hit. What the hell? I tried to hit 2M probably, right? It's minus, it's, it's even, right? So it's minus one basically if you use your fastest button and I use my fastest button. But if you try to hit 2M like that, yeah, you're gonna get bopped. Bonk, bonk. They got rollbacked into getting hit there, which is something I'm never gonna argue with. Oh, the content button failing me. Not like this. SSBA? Oh, they tried to throw me though. Wild stuff. Go for my toes. I dares you. I double dog dares you. I triple, yeah, I triple dog dares you. Okay, okay. Give us some meter at the very least. Something to work with. Something to... Oh, God, the stuttering. Oh, I can't believe I delay tech to that. Oh, but I didn't. Okay, that one, I will admit that was just basically all lag. Let's go. Like, me getting hit by that second throw, I just didn't even see... Like, I couldn't tell where Catalina was. Luckily, we didn't get robbed. Uh, we, we did end up with the... That is the one thing when Liva has 100% meter and he's got SSBA, people start jumping so often that it makes it really nice to just, like, if you're if you're on the ball with that with that ultimate command grab, you can get some some really good stuff going. Uh, Monsieur Samberger here, this, this, uh, this, this connection's a little bit worse than it was last time, I'm not gonna, again, sometimes she's just, like, teleporting into me and I can't even tell whether or not I have to delay tech. Bonk, 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 get grabbed, right? So, like, this is getting a little bit worse, for sure, but again, I mean, on the bright side, I'm getting an opportunity to test my, my, uh, my new theory here versus Catalina, and on the double bright side, it's still working gangbusters, in my opinion. Even, even on those, even on the rounds where we lose, it just, again, it feels so much more playable than it used to. Uh, you're gonna do the projectile? I mean, I can't react. I wanna, I wanna projectile Invincible Super through it. Yeah, but this is... Who, how am I react? And this sweater weather? I mean, I know I was born in Dragon Ball Fighters, but this is like, this is too much even for me, man. He's like teleporting. This, this is not just like rollback lag. I think it's also like a bit of PC lag. It's like, she's just like not there sometimes, and then she is, right? Like, even though the rollback frames only say three. Anyways, anyways, all that being said, that's a good run back there versus uh, Monsieur Sambug out, and we do take that game. Wonderful stuff. Again, man. I'm gonna keep harping on it. I just, you know what? At this point, I said I was gonna shut up about it, but it's gonna, it's gonna be the topic of the video at this point, so it's fine, right? But the strategy works, right? That's how you play against Catalina. That's how you play against normal zoners, man. It seems weird. Shouldn't the grappler be aggressive and in your face all the time? No, no. Neutral in this game is so lopsided, man. But Eva just can't, she can't run it like that. She can't run it like that. And again, these neutral-based characters do not have scary offense. Basically any of them, right? 2B is maybe the best intersection of like really strong neutral and some pretty scary mix. But outside of even even 2B, outside of like the umbrella stuff, it's not like horrible, right? Like it, it's still not that bad. Like she's, she's not Lancelot, right? And Lancelot, for example, really spooky offense, not that spooky uh, neutral, right? So that's that's the way, man. That's how you play these matchups as Lodiva. I am now like, I'm so, I'm almost certain of it. It'll take a lot to change my mind at this point. Also, hello, Anil. She played it. Uh, Anil got a lot better after the patch, huh? Because I think, we, when we, we, if you saw the tier list that me and, uh, and Blast and Lazy made, right? Uh, basically, we think Anila's, or we thought, Anila's biggest problem is that she just, like, doesn't do any damage, right? <laughs> like, the risk-reward in every, in every circumstance is just skewed against her. Like, why would, like, in, in, especially in a game, like, she's, like, the, the opposite of, like, Avatar Belial, where Avatar, Avatar's problem is everybody does a ton of damage to him. Right? Anila just like didn't hurt anybody when she touched them back in back in the day, as it were. Right? So, but now, oh, okay, okay, the spot dodge actually worked out there. I thought I, I thought I spot dodged a little early, and I was gonna get blown up for my trouble. But no, luckily, anyway. Uh, but yeah, now Anila's biggest problem has kind of been fixed because of this. Right? She actually can get some pretty DL. Like, look at this. This is this, this is pretty pretty decent damage off of just like a, a a random like light sort of starter there that she clipped me with. Right? Hit, hit. Okay, brave counter back. That is your prerogative. This is a projectile, though, and my prerogative is to uh, projectile invincible super right through it. And now our health is even, and you have no brave points. So I am going to be eating off of this. I want, I want to. Oh, I was gonna say I want to get 25% meter. If well, I'm dead, right? I think so. No, no, they dropped. It. I think I should have been possible. But you know, uh, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades or something. Oh, I can't roll that. Right, the sheets hit all the way down to the ground. Oh, ultimate sheet. It's got her back. It's got her back again. It's double got DP. Oh, baby. DP? 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 No. Good patience, man. I'm dying here. Um, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do, man? What? Oh, God, what do I do? Oh, my God. God damn. I mean, of course, right there, like, the big problem is I was on chip, and Anila can chip me out really easily, so I, I had to pick a spot to ultimate clothesline. She knew that. I knew that, but I just picked my spot well, luckily, right? I, I, I caught them. I, I, I caught them in like the startup of the rhythm. That is plus on block. If you didn't know that before, you do now. Well, it's plus on block if I if I space it out at max distance, right? Basically, it can be anywhere from minus three to plus two, depending on on how spaced out it is. And at that, like that was basically max distance. I think that was either plus one or plus two. Probably plus two actually. That was like about as far away as as, I, as she could have been and still gotten uh, hit by that. It was like right on the edge of whiffing actually. Uh, this, this is not great. Ooh, okay, hold on. Chance to isn't so bad. Do a throw a sheep at me. Yeah, there's. Oh, that, that's I guess is that a projectile? I never thought about that. Is any other projectile there? Like, can I can I projectile invincible super through that? Get raging strike. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe maybe a little bit of an obvious option there. One of the only ways I could have killed off of that interaction, right? Maybe I should have been a little bit more uh, a little bit more. What's the word? You know the word. Uh, prudent. Let's call it prudent. I like prudence there. 
Okay. You can't spot dodge that too. And you'll ooh, and he'll just flock to the future there. You can't spot dodge it. Like this, right? Yeah, and it gets you some pretty some I could have converted into clothesline there too. It's another time again, unfortunately I'm still not used to converting uh far M into clothesline. But a lot of the times at those max distances, it really is the better idea. Oh, nice punish on my spot dodge. Okay, could be worse though. No, no use skill. The sheep did not well, the sheep did not give me the mind virus, but that far L did. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, just run up throw. I see you. Honorary grappler, Anila. Oh, a little early on the spot dodge there. That's the problem. You gotta spot dodge. It's kind of like, it's like a little baby Siegfried situation. You gotta spot dodge reactively. Not Am I dead? No way, right? God damn. Anil's doing damage? No, okay. Not dead. But I'm damn close. Yep, bro. Oh, baby, am I damn close. Cheap. I think this will reach. No, Gabagool, you lied to me. Oh my god, wait, hold on. Um, I have to do it, I have to do it. It's my only option. It's my only option? Okay, okay. I was like, I just have to keep this combo going. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to win otherwise? The content. I was like, the, the green goblin suit was talking to me, man. It's like, 5U, it's your only way. You have to 5U, you have to 5U. And I was like, I can't, I can't. And it's like, you must. And then I did. <laughs> and, then, and then that happened. But I mean, to be fair, again, I don't think I don't think that's necessarily even 5U's fault. Like, again, what the, like, that was just a horrible, the fact that we even stayed, we were on borrowed time for a while there. The fact that we stayed alive for at all that long is already pretty good by us, I think. Oh, nice to get my toes clipped. Fair. But yeah, with, uh, with, with Anila, you have to either, you have to spot dodge on reaction to whether she's going to do the flock to the future, like the actual work, the thing where she gets on the sheep and rides it, versus sending the sheep at you, right? Yeah, because the, the, the timing, those are a lot slower, at least some of them. So the timing's different. You can't just like you can't just like spot dodge whenever she has a special move and, and hope to be fine there. Any sheep enjoyers? Is she a projectile? I want to try it out. If she comes at me, I'm gonna super. No, I think there's, there's no way, right? When she's on the sheep, there's no way that she's a projectile. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting six six L'd out. Let's not let it happen to us. I could have done it there. I could have done it there though. That yeah, again, I, I saw unfortunately there I spot dodge preemptively, not reactively. I especially when I had projectile invincible super as an option, I definitely should have been a bit more prudent about that, right? Sheep? Yeah, so I, yeah, see, just wait for it and then do that. Right? Think about how much better this round would be if that's what we did the first time, instead of having to have this little health when we do it. Plus, oh, okay, ultimate DP. They've learned, they've learned. Um, hey, oh god, get away from me. Bonk, bonk, DP? No! DP? Yes. Yes! Oh, but I don't have- Oh, baby! I was like, I don't have 25% meter, but I do have Far Emethin. Just barely reaching there and giving me that kill. Thank you very much, Far Emethin. Great conversion by me, if I do say so myself, to convert into Raging Strike there, too. I'm quite proud of that. That was a bit of a strange hit confirm, I think. Uh, oh, okay. Little preemptive again. Yeah, yeah, it's just so bad, man. Just don't do, like, this, what I'm doing right now is just what you're not supposed to do. Spot dodge reactively. Because it is reactive, right? Especially the sheep. Especially the slower sheep. Ow. The, the flock to the future is also reactive, right? I, I keep mashing. Why do I Why do I have this unbelievable urge to mash on our Neela 6 xl I don't know. I don't know. It's not right, though. I tell you what. It's definitely not, uh, it's definitely not the way. I'm like slowly getting chipped out here, which is not my favorite. That's a close L. That's also plus. I, I, I don't know what it is. I'm just like, I want to match on plus on block buttons today, if y'all if don't mind. Will allow me, fam, as it were. Nice. Just like, uh, again, you, you stay you stay passive for most of the match, and then suddenly you do some nonsense like that. Right? It really helps you call people out. Nice. Oh, baby. Okay. Fine. I will save my meter there, too. This... Oh, it's so slow, but it's going to work? No. So, obviously, I like that. So, I tried that, but I was like, I waited a little bit. I tried to wait as long as I could, right? But uh, still, the, the flock to the, the the U sheep. Not, that's not flock to the future. The one she rides on them is flock to the future. That's flock to the future. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the the U sheep. I was like, ah, maybe if I wait long enough, I'm a good boy. But no, unfortunately, there is no world I think where I can protect on invincible super through that U move. The sheep are just too spaced apart and, and too slow, right? Like it's too much of a, a gap between them. Because that that move is only protect on invincible for like the first few frames. So you really have to be careful. You have to you have to not. Uh, the projectile can't be active for too long after the super flash, or you're gonna die. Or at least active and, and also intersecting with you, I suppose, is the, is the better way to phrase that. Any, okay. That Raging Strike definitely uh, shouldn't have worked out for me, but it didn't, so like, I'll take that. Oh, god, okay, okay, hold on. Could be, could have been worse, could have been worse. Get grabbed, nerd. Could have been a lot worse with that cross up there. Bonk, bonk, bonk. You should be dead, unless I do something horrible and drop the combo here, which I'm going to try not to do. Get up there, get down here, get supered. Of course, I maybe could have done uh, the U air to air grab, right, or anti air grab. And had that, maybe they didn't have to watch the whole cutscene there. But that cutscene, one, it's short. And two, I wasn't entirely confident. Like, probably I was like 99% confident that the anti-air grab would have killed. But I was 100% confident that Super would. So, you know, why not give myself a 100% chance of victory? So. Oh, preemptive. Preemptive. That's like, the, like, that's like the number one horrible thing that we're doing badly in this set. The number two thing is mashing on her plus frames for some reason. She just wants to keep spacing out plus frames like that. There's no reason for me to even mash because there's nothing threatening happening, right? She wants, yeah, if she's gonna do this, I mean, obviously this is cheap, we should probably spot that, right? But besides that, if she's doing, if she's just doing this over and over, it's not really something we need to worry about. This plus, oh, right, wait, I thought that was, oh, it is, my, it is punishable on block, but it's minus six. I can't close M it, I have to close L it. Yeah, 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 fair. 
That's my bad. Oh, whiff the throw. Don't mind if I do. It's my turn. Oh, no. Uh, well, it was my turn until she got hit, and I still just auto piloted into the command grab mix. It's fine. It happens, I suppose. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, these things, these things happen. You have to, yeah, we can't, oh, we can't really do much about that, but at least it uses up a lot of her meter. Oh, and that wasn't, I was too, I was too passive. I was just sitting there, I was just sitting there. But guys, I feel like we're not doing too bad uh, in, in the general matchup. We just have to mash on fewer plus frames, and we have to, what's the thing? Oh, yeah, preemptively spot dodging the sheep is also a horrible idea. We need to be doing a lot less of that. Oh, baby. Uh, bonk. DP, that's fair. Cover your minus frames with DP. People love doing it. If, if I had a meterless DP, I'd do it too, I'm sure. I already do it sometimes with SSBA. With SS so even, even without a meterless DP, I still love covering my minus frames with invincibility. Uh, with grab. Oh, no, they guess correctly. They mash on me. It's not the it's not the, the coolest starter in the world, though. It was 2L, right? So it's going to be like, not. yeah, it's not, it's, not, it's not huge damage. I'm not particularly upset about this. There you go. And once again, we're not spot dodging preemptively. We're trying to make fewer mistakes. So we get to blow them up for the sheep there. 6-6-H. Six, six I got DP'd for my trouble. It's fair. Oh, I tried to spot dodge blocks of the future there. No such luck. Oh, no. Oh, god damn. That's bad. Starting with that, that's going to hurt. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm being maybe a little too uh, belligerent with these with these raging strikes. I tried to delay tech that. I did it a little too early. Nice delay from Threx there. It's gonna send us straight to the shadow room. Overall, again, I'm not I'm not upset with how we played that Anila matchup. I think we did it all right, right? That's a pretty good Anila too. I mean, we're, we're talking about thousand plus gems, and that felt very winnable. Right? So we're playing good. But the two things that just blew us up over and over it was it was if, if if we didn't do if we did these two things about half the time, we probably would just won straight up, right? And it is. Uh, preemptively spot dodging when she was going to do either sheep or flock to the future. Both those things are reactable. Especially so the projectile sheep, not the, the riding sheep, right? So there's no need to be doing that. And then um, also just mashing on plus frames in the corner for no reason. I mean, I know the reason, like the actual reason is like, I was like, hmm, I've been in the corner for a while. I want to get out of the corner, right? It's, it's, like, a, it's like a limbic system. Like my, my brain stem is making that decision, not my frontal lobe, right? Uh, but realistically, it's it's stupid stuff, right? As long as she's just doing 6-6-L, close L, close L, close L, 6-6-L. Yeah, she's all plus. I'm taking no chip damage and I'm in no danger though. I can just down back it, right? So that, that some some patience there definitely could have gone a long way. They played well though too, right? And probably the third thing, it's, it's I think it's way down, lower down the totem pole. But we were raging striking a little too much, right? Raging strike is a raging strike is a nice call out option, but not that often, right? It, it's very reactable, right? So you have to be very careful. You have to be very use it as like a, a mix, right? Not just like every single time that we're doing a block string and we're too far away to do headbutts and, and command grab, we're gonna do raging strike. It gets very predictable, right? Uh, but overall, I'm not so I'm not uh, too upset with how uh, that matchup went. I think we played fine overall and. God damn, am I happy about finally getting to test drive that strategy against Catalina, and it works wonderfully. I'm going to be excited to play even more Catalinas now, since I never thought I'd say as Aviva, but I am excited to play even more of them and try out that, that down back strategy. It just works, man. It just works. It just works. It's awesome. With all that being said, uh, if you made it this far in the video, as always, I'll, I have four things for you. You know how it is. Number one, join the Discord server. There's a link down there in the description for you. It's a nice place. You can hang out, talk about gacha games, talk about fighting games, talk about Relink, talk about Elden Ring, talk about art, talk about music, talk about whatever the hell you want, man. It's a nice community for you to hang out, make some friends. So I encourage you to join, but I also encourage you to please keep it the nice and welcoming place that it currently is. Uh, everybody in there is super nice. Nobody's been banned, so nobody's been moderated. If I have to ban somebody, though, I will. And if it's you, I'm going to ban you. So just don't let it be you, okay? Number two, if you like the video, and I, and I uh, sure hope you did, get down there and like the damn video, man. Come on. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps the channel out a lot, and I appreciate it, of course, while you're there. Number three, that subscribe button, that bell button, they're right over here. Keep up to date with all this content we're throwing out to you every day. We've got three videos coming out every day. It's more between two to three hours of content every single day, or sorry, two to five and a half sometimes, or five. Uh, so unless you have all that time for little old me every single day, which I imagine is not most of you, but the ones who do, I mean, that's awesome, but you're in the minority, uh, then I would recommend you hit those two buttons, get notified when something new is uploaded, maybe go back and watch it if it either particularly interests you or if uh, you have uh, some, some more time than usual, you know? I, I don't expect anyone to have enough time to watch everything I put out, but yeah, th th that, bell, that bell will help. Uh, and of course, so number four, most importantly, more important than whatever button to smash or whatever YouTube-friendly interactions you hit me with, I appreciate those, of course, but... I hope you had a great time hanging out today. Most of all, I know I actually did. Again, I'm so, so happy about that Catalina. Like, finally, I get to test drive that strategy versus Catalina, the, the character who forced me to think of this in the first place, right? And having it work so well. Mmm. You have no idea how lost I've been in the Catalina matchup for so long. This feels wonderful. Again, so many things are just clicking. I'm coalescing. I'm learning. I'm almost there. I've almost leveled up. I can feel myself going from like a low master rank player to like a medium level master rank player. We're on the way. Having a lot of fun with Grand Blue is going to be a lot more coming your way. But until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace.